everyone. My name is Pichini Suos, and I'm the Housing Tour and Outreach Coordinator for UCI Student Housing. In this live stream, we're going to be going over the continuing student guarantee housing process, such as the housing options, and how to apply to secure your on-campus housing. So the agenda for the presentation is going to be going over details about the housing guarantee, the housing options eligible for guaranteed housing, how to apply to secure your on-campus housing, some important notes to consider when applying, and then we'll have a live Q&A portion as well in the end. So first, for the housing guarantee, you might be wondering what exactly is the guarantee. So for the 2024-25 undergraduate housing guarantee, what it is is that the students who are eligible for the guaranteed housing are eligible to receive one guaranteed offer of on-campus housing as long as you meet all required steps. And so one thing to know is that your housing preferences are not guaranteed. What is guaranteed is a space somewhere to live on campus. And you're only eligible to receive one guaranteed housing offer. So if you choose to decline the offer, you will be applying to the waitlist afterwards. Please also note that if you fail to complete any steps of the process, it will result in you in forfeiting the housing guarantee. Who is eligible for guaranteed housing? Students who are eligible for the guarantee housing are current first-year freshmen and current first-year trans transfer students who live on campus, as well as members of the campus-wide honors collegians and students who receive a Regent Scholarship, Chancellor's Excellence Scholarship, and Director Scholarship. It's important that you note the terms within your scholarship to see what information of eligibility of housing is in there. Sometimes the information may change per admitted year of students, so we recommend you to refer to your scholarship to see how many years of guaranteed housing you do have. And also FIRE Scholar students are also eligible for guaranteed housing. If you are not eligible for guaranteed housing and you are watching this live stream, you are able to apply to the housing waitlist. And so for the housing waitlist, the American Campus Community Waitlist will open on January 24th at 8 a.m. The UCI housing waitlist, which will be for the resident halls, Arroyo Vista, and Las Lomas, will open sometime in April of 2024. The exact date is still to be determined, so we recommend you to check the housing website sometime in March to see if we have a finalized date posted. How the waitlist offers will work or availability will work for the waitlist is that it truly depends on the remaining space after all guaranteed students who met the deadlines are placed in housing. Unfortunately, we're not able to tell you what exactly the availability will look like because we truly are not sure as well because it truly depends after the guarantee placements are done. We recommend students who are applying to the waitlist to apply as soon as possible. And to note that if you are applying to the ACCs, to select a variety of community and floor plan options. For more information about the waitlist, we recommend you to check on the housing website on the continuing student page and look under the waitlist section on the continuing student page. The housing options that are going to be available on the guarantee process are going to be the Arroyo Vista, which is one of the UCI housing communities, and the American Campus Community Apartments. So for Arroyo Vista, um, that is where our academic sponsored houses are and sorority and fraternity sponsored houses are. And these are going to be our group living environments, so kind of similar to the resident halls, but then on a much smaller scale. Aurora Vista is also going to be located on the East Campus near the Ant Year Recreation Center. Aurora Vista is going to be our nine-month academic year contract, so it will be from September to June. And they are going to be furnished housing. Some more details about Aurora Vista is that they are going to be houses that have about 16, 24, or 32 students living in each house. And it is going to be a furnished house where there will be a shared kitchen and shared common spaces. And it's all double occupancy rooms only. There are some double occupancy suites where there is a private bathroom for the students in that suite. However, there's not many of them. So most students will be placed in a standard double occupancy room. The next section will be going over the American Campus Community Apartments. We do have a representative from the American Campus Communities who will be going over the American Campus Communities. Her name is Jade, and I'll go ahead and switch over with her. Hi, my name is Jade Larney. I'm the Leasing Operations Manager at American Campus Communities for UC Irvine. I'm going to go over the options that you have for guaranteed housing options at American Campus Communities for this fall. 
We, have privately man- we are privately managed by American Campus Communities on UCI's campus. It is the East Campus near the Anteater Recreation Center. Our furnishings include all furniture, air conditioning, and dishwasher, as well as other kitchen appliances. The leases are 11 and a half months and vary by community. There are June to June leases, September to September, or August to August. For community-specific information, you can visit the link there, and you can see what communities offer what lease terms. We have an application through our website, and it is directly linked with UCI. To start the application, you will need the following information. Make sure to have handy your UCI email address. That's going to be the first thing that you have to enter. You will also need your UCI student ID number, access to the Duo mobile app, a $200 refundable security deposit if you are applying as a new resident, and your guarantor will also need to submit all of their personal information. We will require a guarantor for all of our undergraduates and any graduate student under the age of 25. The guarantor must be over the age of 25, and they will be equally responsible for your lease. For roommate matching preferences, you're able to select either male, female, or gender inclusive on your application. Students who select gender inclusive are agreeing to share a room or apartment regardless of a roommate's gender. You also have an option to choose a backup preference when you choose gender inclusive. So you could have more variety of options when we come to sending leases since there is a limited availability of each gender. When we do roommate selections, we do not take into consideration a resident's sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Once you get a lease from us, you'll get a link to RoomSync. That is where you'll be able to see all the other students that have the same lease as you in the same community. You'll be able to pick your preferences, create your profile, and see what other students match best with you, and meet with them and see if you'd like to request a room with them. Unfortunately, we cannot guarantee roommate selections. We will take them into consideration, and if we have the space available, we will place you together. To start going through some of our communities, the first one is Camino del Sol. Camino del Sol is apartments and townhomes. There are two, three, or four bedroom units. You could do single occupancy, private bedrooms, private and shared, bathroom options. There are washers and dryers in each of these units and other amenities as well. Plaza Verde, there are two communities within Plaza Verde, the first phase and the second phase. The second phase was just completed this past year and has only had one term of students living in it so far. There are one, two, and four bedroom apartments, single and double occupancy bedrooms, bathrooms shared with one other student or private bathroom options. Puerto del Sol has options of a studio, one and two bedroom apartments. You could also do two bedroom, two bathroom private apartments or double occupancy. For the one bedroom apartments, you could do single occupancy and then the studios and efficiencies would be single occupancy as well. Vista del Campo has one, two, three or four bedroom apartment options. There are single occupancy, private or shared options. There are also private or shared bathroom options. For Vista del Campo Norte, there are one, two, and three bedroom apartments as well, single or double occupancy bedrooms, private or shared bathrooms as well. When it comes to applying for the guaranteed housing process, we will go over the steps here. I will pass this back to UCI to go over. Thank you. Okay, so for the guarantee housing process, I just want to point out that this is going to be completely for students who are eligible for guaranteed housing. So if you're a student who's watching this and you are not eligible for guaranteed housing, this process wouldn't really apply to you. But once again, you can check on the housing website to see about the waitlist process. So for the guarantee housing process, if you are eligible, it's three steps to secure your on-campus housing. So the first step is going to be submitting the continuing student guarantee application. The next step will be completing the next steps according to your housing assignment of Aurora Vista or ACC apartments, and then signing your actual housing agreement. 
So to go a little bit more in detail, when submitting the Continuing Student Guarantee application, it will be available on the Housing Gateway Portal, and it will only be available from January 17th at 7 a.m. through January 22nd at 12 p.m. noon. If you missed this part or you missed the application opening and closing time, then you have forfeited your housing guarantee. So it's imperative that you make sure you complete this guarantee application when the window is live. The steps of the guarantee application is actually really simple. The first thing that you'll go over is just some important notes, the instructions of how to actually complete the application. And then basically the application itself, when you do it, it just asks you, where do you currently live? What's your domestic status, whether that's you're planning to be single, live with a romantic partner or spouse, or have children that you're planning to live with. Most students are going to be undergraduate students who are under the age of 25 and single. And so the housing options that, will, that you will be ranking is the General Aurora Vista and the American Campus Community Apartments. At this point, you're truly just ranking the Aurora Vista and the General American Campus Community Apartments. You are not ranking the specific communities or floor plans of the apartments or ranking the themes of Aurora Vista. It's just truly ranking Aurora Vista and the American Campus Community Apartments. Then afterwards, you will review what you've selected and you'll go ahead and submit the application. It will truly only take a few minutes, but just remember that once it's been submitted, you are not able to go back and make any edits afterwards. For the next step, if you did complete the guarantee application when the window was live, then by January 23rd, you will receive an email from UCI Student Housing with next steps according to what you're selected for. So if you are selected for the American Campus Community Apartments, you will be instructed to, co to complete an ACC application by 12 noon of January 29th. The ACC application will open at 8 a.m. on January 24th, and at this time is when you can submit your occupancy preferences of the different communities and floor plans that you are interested in. If you are selected for Aurora Vista, you will be instructed to complete a theme preference survey by January 29th. The very last step to secure your on-campus housing is going to be completing your housing agreement. So if you are selected for the American campus communities and you did step two of completing the ACC application by January 29th, you will receive your ACC lease sometime beginning in February is when they'll start rolling out. So keep a lookout for your emails for that to sign the lease. If you are selected for Aurora Vista and you complete the theme preference survey by January 29th, you will receive your housing contract sometime in mid-April or early May. For Aurora Vista in the housing contract, that is when you'll be indicating your occupancy preference of roommates and room occupancy of the standard double or the double suite. We recommend students to read their housing agreement before signing. By signing the housing agreement, that means that you've consented to the terms of the housing agreement, regardless if you actually read it or not. So we definitely recommend students to read the agreements before signing. So after you've done that and you've signed the housing agreement, you have secured your on-campus housing and you are pretty much set for the year. And so some important notes to consider with the guaranteed housing process, though, is that all steps, once again, must be completed by the stated deadlines. If you fail to complete any steps at any point or miss a deadline, then you have forfeited your housing guarantee. If you've declined your housing offer, you will be applying to the waitlist and you will not be guaranteed to receive a second offer because you'll be on the waitlist. Housing preferences overall are not guaranteed. As I stated before, what is guaranteed is a space to live somewhere on campus if you've met all deadlines. There are very limited spaces in Aurora Vista. Most students will be placed in the American Campus Community Apartments, so we recommend students who are interested in Aurora Vista to apply as soon as possible. For the American Campus Community application, we recommend you to submit multiple floor plan types and as opposed to just limiting to one type. All students are applying as an individual. So if you have any roommates in mind, keep in mind that throughout this whole guarantee process, you're not applying with roommates, you're applying truly by yourself. And so if you have roommates in mind and are wondering when you are gonna be selecting roommates, for Aurora Vista, I stated before in step three, the occupancy preferences are done during the housing contract process. And that is where you can go ahead and submit your roommate preference. For the American campus communities, however, the roommate preferences are not submitted until after completing an ACC lease, and you'll be submitting it in room C. And that's pretty much it for the presentation. Now we'll go ahead and start answering some live Q, Q questions that we're getting and maybe some frequently asked questions that we've been receiving in general.
So one of the first questions we have is that I already have a preferred roommate. How do we get assigned to live together? So as mentioned in the presentation, unfortunately, preferences are not guaranteed. All students are going to be applying as an individual. Um, for the housing preferences, include roommates. Once again, that's also just not guaranteed. But we try our best to accommodate roommate preferences as best as we can. Roommate preferences for Aurora Vista, they're not going to be submitted in, until the housing contract process in step three. And then for the ACC apartments, it's not going to be submitted until in room sync after the leases are signed. Do you want to elaborate on any of that? or Yes, for ACC, we don't assign roommates or unit assignments till about a month before you move in. So even if you put in your preference the first day you get your lease, and it could be the early February, it's still not guaranteed that you will be assigned with that person. We have a lot of same space rural residents and other requests from campus, such as from Disability Services Center, where we have to place certain people in certain places. So sometimes it's not always possible to get preferred roommates placed together. And then for Aurora Vista, um, it does need to be mutually requested. So both students want to have to have a housing contract for Aurora Vista, and they do need to mutually request each other to be considered um, in order to be considered for the placement. So that's one question. And then another question is, why aren't the resident halls included in the guaranteed option this year? Unfortunately, it is because due to the incoming class of first year freshmen for fall of 2024, um, one thing to note is that the resident halls are for the first year freshmen, they're only eligible for the resident halls. And so because of that, with the number of incoming first year freshmen for fall of 2024, we are only keeping the resident halls available for the wait list for continuing students as first year freshmen are only eligible to live there while continuing students have other housing options to live at. And then, let's see. Okay, and then one other question that we've been receiving is, will Los Lomas be a housing option? So Los Lomas will be a housing option for next academic year, but it will only be on the wait list. Um, and then Los Lomas will also be a year-round contract next academic year. So it'll be from June 2024 through June 2025, as opposed to the academic year contract. Another question that we have is going... Can I trade housing offers with a friend? So I'm assuming this is a student like who's eligible for guaranteed housing. And if their friend who's also eligible for guaranteed housing receives a housing offer that the other likes um, and they want to see if they can trade. Unfortunately not. As I said before, you're only guaranteed one housing offer. Um, students are unable to trade their offers. If they do not like the offer they receive and they would not like to continue with it, they do need to, they will have to decline and apply to the wait list. So another question is for students who either currently live in ACC and are asking if they can renew or students who are eligible for the guarantee and are asking if they can just apply directly to ACC. So regardless, if you currently live in ACC and are interested in renewing or applying to another ACC unit or a student who's a part of the guarantee and just wants to apply to directly to ACC, if you would like to remain eligible for guaranteed housing, you do need to submit the initial continuing student guarantee application. From there, go ahead and put ACC as your first preference. And then when you submit the ACC application, you can go ahead and put whatever preferences you have. But I'll let Jade go ahead and specify for students who currently live in ACC on what to do for that portion. Yeah, so if you're a guaranteed student, and you already live at ACC, make sure you do the CSP application first because we will get a list of the students that have guaranteed housing and then a different list will be our general wait list. So if you're not on the list from UCI as a guaranteed housing student, you will just wait months for an offer because you'll be on our general wait list. So we will have to give offers to all of the guaranteed students first. We won't know that you are part of the guarantee unless we get that information from UCI. So it's very important to follow all the steps that are provided today. 
And then another question is for financial aid. Does financial aid count for the American Campus Community Apartments? The American Campus Community Apartments are considered on-campus housing. Um, so yes, for financial aid, um, if you receive financial aid, um, you can put American Campus Communities as your on-campus housing. Um, but for questions regarding financial aid in general, such as your financial aid package or anything like that, we recommend you to contact the financial aid office directly for that. Um, how soon after I apply will I receive a housing offer from ACC? You want to take that, Jade? Yes. So once we receive all of the applications from the guaranteed students by noon on January 29th, we are hoping to start placing offers to get them sent out that week. So that is Monday after the application portal opens. So between the last few days of January and first week of February, you should expect to start seeing offers. If we can get them out earlier, we absolutely will. But that is our expected timeline at this point. Thank you. And then can I cancel my housing contract or lease after I sign if I change my mind? Um, for Arroyo Vista, the Arroyo Vista housing contracts are binding agreements, but you are able to cancel before the start date of the contract. There's a specific date that says that, um, when the last date is to cancel. Um, there will be a cancellation fee that will be assessed if you decide to cancel. It's typically a bit um, either the Friday before the start date of the contract, I believe, but once again, this is where we recommend you to read the terms of your housing contract to see information about um, cancellations prior to um, moving in. And then for ACCs? Yes, for ACC, the only way you'd be able to cancel a lease after it's signed is if you withdraw from UCI or graduate. Um, any other options to get out of the lease from there, if you do maintain your status as a student with UCI, would be either to relet the space or sublease, sublease the space. If you relet it, you would find another student that's interested in taking over your lease. We would send them an offer for it. Once they sign, you would be released from that lease. There are fees associated with all of these options. For a sublease, if you choose to go that route, you would only be able to do that for one quarter of the lease, and you would maintain financial responsibility for the lease while the other student is residing there for that one quarter. And then some other questions are about parking, um, specific for ACC, but I'll go ahead and um, just mention for Aurora Vista for anyone who is possibly interested. Um, but for parking for Aurora Vista, um, parking is not included technically in the contract itself. Um, the parking lots for Aurora Vista is managed by UCI Parking and Transportation Services, not UCI Student Housing. So if you would like to park in Aurora Vista, um, you will need to purchase a parking permit through UCI Parking and Transportation. Um, but any questions about that, you will need to contact their office. Office. But for ACC? For ACC, we do have parking options available at each of the communities. They are not included with the lease. So you would have to purchase a pass or permit from the front desk of the community that you live at. Um, they are not associated with UCI's parking deck. So there would be two separate parking passes if you choose to have parking on site at the community that you live in and on campus. Thank you. And then let me see. So the question is, if you're a part of a sorority or fraternity, and can you guarantee Aurora Vista theme housing? I'm assuming just to get into Aurora Vista, um, and if you are eligible for guaranteed housing, I recommend you to go ahead and c continue completing the application and put Aurora Vista as your first choice. But if you are part of a sorority or fraternity, please talk to your chapter president to get information about um, how to get placed into um, your sorority or fraternity house. And one question for me is, if a student is currently in ACC and their lease ends August 31st and they apply for next year, could ACC put them in a lease that starts earlier? Would it stick with a September date so you would not have to pay double rent? So keep in mind, whatever communities that you apply for, look at the lease term that is associated with that community or floor plan. So for example, Puerto del Sol has August to August term dates, so it might not line up perfectly or that would line up better for you. Whereas if you applied for something that doesn't start till the end of September, you would have a gap between there. Um, if you apply for a same space renewal, you would not have to move out if you are offered a same space renewal. We can't guarantee that, of course, but that would be the best option to apply for a same space renewal. That way you don't have to move out in between lease terms. We would let you stay for the few days in between the normal contract dates. And another ACC question, is there a certain number of ACC floor plans that student, students should select in the step two ACC application? Yes. So you will pick one ma main community to apply for. That will be your highest preference. Then you can choose up to two other communities and two floor plans for each community. So there will be a total of six preferences between three communities of ours. I recommend choosing as many, all six, if you can. That will increase your chances of getting a lease. If you only choose private bedroom and private bathroom or single occupancy spaces, 
it's not as likely that you'll get a lease offer or as quickly than if you had a variety of options listed on your application. Okay, and then another question for ACC. In terms of higher demand apartment buildings, are guaranteed students given their first choices randomly, or is it a first come first serve system? So for the guaranteed students, it is first come first serve. So we will go in order of when the application is submitted and they will most likely get their first preference if you're the first person to submit at 8 a.m. on the 24th as a guaranteed student. Um, and then it will go in order from there. If we start running low on spaces, which I don't presume will happen because we have a lot of spaces blocked off for the guaranteed students, um, we are hoping that every guaranteed student gets at least their top three, one of their top three preferences. We go first from the community that they applied for, then the floor plan, and then we match the gender preference for the roommate gender preference um, in order to give you the lease offer. And just to clarify, um, it is going to be like when she's saying first come, first serve for the application, it's for the ACC application, the continuing student guarantee application. Um, if you're interested in the ACC apartments, it doesn't really matter for timing for that, um, since most students will be placed in the ACC apartment. So for the actual ACC application that opens on the 24th, that's the one that's um, the more time sensitive that Jade was saying. Um, I can't recall. Did you go in detail for the renewal? Um. A little bit, but we could go jump back into it. So this question is, I currently live in ACC and I want to renew my lease so I don't have to move. What's the process for renewing it? So when you log on to apply, it'll ask you if you're a current resident, a new resident, transfer student, there's a few different options there. So if you already live in ACC, you want to select the option that says I am a current resident. That way, one, you won't have to pay a security deposit and it'll automatically put in your floor plan and community that you currently live in. Okay. And then, let's see. So one question is, which housing can pets live in without being service or emotional support animals? For on-campus housing, like Aurora Vista, well, I'll speak for Aurora Vista, um, pets are not allowed. Um, so that's for Aurora Vista, I'm afraid. Same for ACC. So unfortunately, if you do have just an animal as a pet, we would not be able to allow it on to live it with you. But if you do have an emotional support or service animal, you could apply through DSC to have that in your unit with you. And the next question is, um, for ACC, are utilities, including electric, water, et cetera, completely covered in our housing fees? So it does depend on which community you live in, whether utilities are included or not. For Vista del Campo, Vista del Campo Norte, and Camino del Sol, all utilities are included in your contract amount lease. For Plaza Verde 1, Plaza Verde 2, and Puerto del Sol, everything's included except electric. So you would have to put the electric in your name and or one person's name of the unit, and then everybody can split the bill from there. But there would have to be a leaseholder actually signed up for the service through SoCal Edison. And I guess on terms of utilities, I could touch that there is free Wi-Fi throughout all the communities, um, cable, everything's already all set up for you. So as soon as you move in, you'll already be hooked up to everything, which is nice. And then it says, if a student studies abroad, will they still have to pay rent for their ACC apartment? Yes. So if you study abroad, that's where subletting usually works best because you're only gone for a quarter. And then that way somebody else would be paying you to stay in your space. And then when you get back, it's time for them to move out because they can only stay for one quarter and you'll still have your space. Um, unfortunately, if you don't want a sublease, there is no other way to cancel the lease other than reletting it. And then that way you could have somebody sign a lease to release you from your lease. But just by studying abroad, we wouldn't be able to cancel your lease. You would still be responsible. And then I know that question was more for ACC apartments, but I just wanted to chime in for Aurora Vista. Um, you do need to be a full-time enrolled student in order to live on campus. So you do need to be enrolled at UCI classes. So if um, you do decide to study abroad um, and you have an Aurora Vista contract, you will need to cancel your housing contract or um, like prior to leaving. Um, so that's pretty much most of the questions we received. There are repeat questions as well. So uh, we recommend you to look back on the video and listen to some of the FAQs that we've answered. Um, one more question we'll just go ahead and answer is, um, who should we contact if we come across any other questions? Um, if there's any questions about the guarantee process overall, you should contact the Housing Administrative Services Office. Um, and if you have questions about the American campus communities, that's when you would contact the American Campus Community Leasing Center. And we are located, our leasing center is located at Plaza Verde. So you could call us anytime at 949-326-5600 
or you can email each of the community inboxes, whichever one you're interested in or whatever one your question's about directly. Email is the best way for us to get back to you as quickly as possible because if there are a lot of voicemails, it does take a little while to relay them to the proper people. Whereas if you email, we can usually get back to you within the same day. If you have a general leasing question, feel free to email any of the communities and they'll be able to help you. And then if you're not exactly sure if it's a question that's more for the American campus communities or housing in general, go ahead and um, just contact us um, direct at Student Housing Administrative Services directly. Um, so we'll pretty much wrap up now. If you have any further questions, um, please email us at housing at uci.edu. Um, thank you so much for attending this live stream. And we really appreciate you all um, attending. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Bye.